The former assistant principal of a Virginia elementary where a six-year-old boy shot his teacher has been indicted and charged by a special grand jury. Court records show Ebony Parker was indicted on eight counts of felony child abuse. The charges stem from the 2023 Rich Neck Elementary shooting involving a six-year-old boy who opened fire on his teacher. Later, in a $40 million civil lawsuit, the teacher said on the day of the shooting, Parker was warned at least three times that the child had a gun, but did not take action. A warrant has been issued for Parker's arrest. If convicted, she could spend up to 40 years behind bars. In other national headlines, we send it over to Alan Miller. Well, Monica, the National Transportation Safety Board provided an update to its investigation into the Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore. NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy said in a Senate hearing that the preliminary report won't be available until May, but the investigation is focused on why the cargo ship lost power before it hit the bridge. President Biden has pledged his administration's full support to rebuild. Former Trump Organization executive Alan Weisselberg was sentenced today to five months in jail after he pleaded guilty to perjury charges related to his testimony in former President Trump's civil fraud trial. Weisselberg was given a separate five-month sentence in a criminal case after pleading guilty to tax fraud charges, but only served 100 days. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6 will explain how changes to the adoption process will make things easier and quicker. Back to you, Monica.